What's happening YouTube? It's your boy Timo today to teach you how to prepare my world famous Mega Super 5000 Protein Post-Workout Ice Cream Meal. So this is a very simple recipe which is very clean. I've actually been eating this my whole competition preparation as a post-workout meal. So you can fit this meal into your diet and it is very easy to make some sort of variations if you need more protein or more carbohydrates or less fat or more fat. So you can customize this meal according to your macros very easily. But before we get into that, I'm gonna teach you how I made it for the past three months. And you don't need that much of ingredients for this recipe, to be honest. The main and the hardest thing that you're gonna need is cream of rice. So in here I have 50 grams of cream of rice powder. Um, in some countries it might be a little bit harder to find cream of rice in the store but you can actually prepare cream of rice by yourself very easily if you just take rice flour and put it in blender and just pin that sheet for a few minutes and then it's gonna be ready to use so anyways make a long story short you're gonna take the 50 grams of cream of rice powder pow and the trick here is how to make this very creamy and good tasting without adding too much of calories. Only 60 calories addition comes from unsweetened almond milk. So instead of using water, if you use the almond milk, the whole texture of the ice cream will be better. So you need the almond milk. If you make it in the water, the end result will not be as good, trust me. So according to every 10 grams of Cream of rice powder you want to have 100 grams of almond milk so I had 50 grams of cream of rice powder so I'm gonna have 500 grams of almond milk now it is very important to have the amount of almond milk and the cream of rice powder in the right ratio so if you exceed it even with like 15% the end result of the texture will be different so just use the scale and there you have it, exactly 500. So, now that you have combined the almond milk and the cream of rice powder, uh, we're gonna boil this with a low heat, approximately one minute. Uh, you need to keep spinning it the whole time you keep boiling it. And just to avoid burning the cream of rice, just keep spinning it the whole time or every 10, 15 seconds. But once the cream of rice starts to look like a pudding, then you take it immediately off. After that, you just put it in a big Tupperware cup or a bowl, but just use a large one. You wanna have a large one. I will explain this later on why it's important to have a large one instead of a small cup or a bottle. Now that we have finished the cream of rice base, um, we go to the fun part of the game. So now we can pretty much choose the amount of protein we want to add, um, the amount of carbs we want to add. Of course, if you want to make a large, large ice cream, you can have more uh, cream of rice, but 50 grams is pretty good amount. I would rather add just uh, extra carbs from berries and bananas. So now, before we go to the fun part, we're gonna add the secret ingredient, which is cinnamon. You do not have to use cinnamon, it is just the way I like to do it. I love cinnamon and it fits very well to this recipe, so you should try it as well. But as you start making this meal every day, and yes, you will, because I mean, this is the Milky Way Galaxy famous Ultra Hooper 7000 protein ice cream post workers. I mean, People all over the galaxy is using this recipe as a post-workout shake. So you will be using this every single day from this day forward. So try it at least one time with the cinnamon. I'm sure you will love it. But if you don't like the cinnamon, just use something else. So we're gonna add cinnamon. And then we go to the protein. Um, right now I'm using NitroTech. French vanilla cream and obviously the flavor of the protein isolate that you're going to use is going to make a huge impact on what the ice cream is going to taste like. I recommend you to use vanilla tasting proteins. I don't like chocolate ones myself or 
you know, for the recipe, we're gonna be adding fruits and bananas and other stuff later on. So vanilla tasting isolate usually fits very well to this recipe. And my advice to you, if you want to have the best tasting protein powder and make this recipe like even better than 7,000 protein isolate super post-workout shake, use BSN Synta 6 vanilla milkshake flavor. Without a doubt, this product is the best tasting protein powder there is on this galaxy. Or even maybe in other galaxies, but I haven't been there. But in this galaxy, in Milky Way where we're living, uh, this protein powder is the best tasting one. Unfortunately, I ran out. I have like 10 empty bottles of this product right there in the other room. So, but the store I used to go didn't have any more left, so I had to take Nitrotech. It's okay too. Now, like I said, you can do so many different variations for this recipe. So you just calculate how much protein you wanna have in your post workout shake. Me, myself, I'm gonna go with 60 grams of isolate, which is a lot, but this is a post workout shake. So, now there's 60 grams. And the reason why this recipe is known all over the galaxies is because you, you really have to pay attention to the details. I mean, like I said, with the cream of rice and the almond milk ratio, and now that you're mixing the isolate with the cream of rice, you have to mix it properly. You don't want to have these isolate tasting bumps in the mixture, right? So just take your time, take your time. I mean, this is the reward after your heavy leg workout session. You wanna have the perfect, and you wanna make your training partner jealous. I mean, he's gonna pull out this shaker cup, right? And maybe a banana or some shit like that. And he's gonna drink that in the gym after workout. And then you're gonna take this ice cream out of your freezer bag, and he's gonna be like, dude, what the fuck is that? Because this happened every single time I took my protein ice cream to the gym. People were like, Oi caray, what the fuck is this, man? And people were all nuts and they were, you're eating this kind of stuff after you work it? I'm like, yeah, bro, zero fat, good quality protein, fast acting carbs, best possible meal that you could have after workout. And it tastes amazing, especially here in Brazil, when there's like 30 Celsius hot outside, you walk out of the gym, sweaty, all exhausted in the sun, and then you have this ice cream, right? I mean, you wanna enjoy this moment. So. That's why, that's why this recipe is known all over the universe. And I mean, there's like jillions of people and monsters and all the creatures that are eating this recipe. And you're asking yourself, well, why haven't you heard about this before? Well, now you have. And from now, this day forward, you will be eating this recipe. All right, now we have mixed the cream of rice powder and the isolate. Uh, I myself, I love berries and use frozen berries because, I mean, as you might guess by now, this product is going to the freezer and it's going to take some time to become ready, right? So uh, you want to use maybe um, frozen berries so it freezes a little bit quicker and you save 30 minutes of time. This is a really easy recipe to cook. The only problem is that you're going to need a little bit of patience because you cannot cook this or make this meal and then eat it right away. You have to freeze it. You have to make the texture completely perfect in order to have this uh, super mega isolate hyper 9000 post workout meal. <laughs> so, so, anyways, in my meal plan during the prep, I had 200 grams of berries. So I usually had 100 grams of raspberries. And then I like to use 100 grams of blueberries. Nice, nice, oh, nice. Oh, and then this, this right here, this is the beautiful part. This is why you will get erection every time you make this meal. Because once you start making, mixing the ingredients together, you will see how the blueberries and the raspberries with the cream of rice, with the French vanilla isolate powder, 
They're making a huge, huge orgy. And the end result will look and taste and even sound delicious. I mean, I mean, this kind of sounds like a porn, right? Listen. Right? The food even sounds like. So, we have the sound, we have the look, we got the taste, and we got the macros. That's why people all over the universe are eating this recipe. Now, again, you don't have to necessarily use uh, raspberries and blueberries, you can use whatever fruits you want, but just try this version because I've done this million, zillion, maybe even like, a, maybe even 15 times. So, <laughs> so this is the way I like to do it. Now, for flavoring it even better, you know, because it's kind of plain. It doesn't have a sweet flavor as ice cream does. This is not a salty meal. This is a sweet meal. So, I myself, I like to use sucralose zero cal drops. Uh, from 10 to 15 drops. Um, why I use the drops? is because I'm dieting, I'm preparing, I kind of get more uh, calories from sweeteners. So I'm using the drops myself. If I was in the off season, I would be using honey. Just I mean like a tablespoon of honey, it will make this a lot more sweeter. You know, you don't need much. You already have the banana or you're gonna have the banana and you got the berries and the isolate and uh, almond milk. So you don't need that much of sugar. But if you have a large, uh, oatmeal in your off season and you want to just make it even sweeter so you can have as much calories as post workout meal as you can then I would probably recommend you to use honey or here in Brazil we got these Mr. Taste uh, sauces which are like zero calories I don't even know if they are zero calories I mean they taste amazing and you probably know all the Walden farms there's probably some sort of a zero calorie sauce in your country so I like to use sometimes this, but when I use this with the berries, it kind of ruins the natural taste of the berries and the fruits and banana. So I don't like to use this myself anymore. I would prefer the drops. And then last but not least, we're gonna add the banana. Bananas are, we all know bananas are perfect post-workout meal. You get potassium, fast acting carbs, it tastes good. It's good for your stomach, so. I'm gonna add the banana. I like to make small slices of banana all over the ice cream. So whenever I take the scoop with my spoon, there's always gonna be a small layer of banana on the top of it. So we're gonna put the banana in. Where the fuck? So I will just like cut paper thin banana slices and I try to spread them all over the ice cream. And since next this stuff is going to the freezer, that's why you wanna have a large cup or a Tupperware so it freezes a little bit quicker. And I mean, if it's really high and narrow, it's gonna freeze on the sides, but not inside. Now, pay note, pay attention now, because you can ruin this amazing super mega hyper meal if you keep it in the freezer for too long. So you cannot make this meal in the night for the morning workout, no. Um, if you keep it too long, it will completely freeze down and it will just ruin the flavor. So you wanna have it like an ice creamish texture. We know all what ice cream is, so I don't have to explain it to you. But in my freezer, uh, it's approximately 60 to 90 minutes that it takes time to have the perfect texture. Also, it depends on um, the size of the meal so if you make more it's gonna take a little bit more time so now I have this most beautiful protein ice cream there is I'm sure you want to know the macros and the calories of this meal especially uh, since I was eating it past three four months during the diet of my competition preparation so this meal right now has 62 grams of protein, 81 grams of carbohydrates, and only 9 grams of fat. 
the fat basically came all from the almond milk. Still, I would take the four grams of fat, at least for the guy of my size. So, and the calories total is 692. Now, again, like I said, you can make a lot of variations. Uh, if you do not want to use that much isolate powder, you can use egg whites. But if you use too much egg whites, it will give you more liquid. And this liquid does not freeze at the same level with cream of rice powder. So uh, I would not use too many egg whites. I just like three, maybe four egg whites and rest I would use coming from isolate. Only if you want to minimize the amount of isolate using in your diet plan. Also, if you want to have this meal with fats, you can add some peanut butter in it. Uh, I myself think that when you add peanut butter in it, it kind of overpowers the whole flavor. So then you might not taste the isolate or the bananas or the berries or the cream of rice. It basically, if you add too much of uh, peanut butter, it will just ruin the flavor of everything else. So maybe if you want to have this recipe and have some fat, eat the peanut butter with a spoon from the jar and then leave uh, the isolate 9000 mega super 5000 anabolic ice cream post workout shake as it is but now because i'm starving and i'm about to get to the gym i'm gonna put this in the freezer luckily i have my own gym here at home so i can just prepare this uh mega super protein 5000 7000 ice cream post workout shake put it in the freezer go to the gym downstairs hit my workout do the cardio and then i can just come 60 90 minutes later get the ice cream from the freezer and just kick it at the pool so but now this product is completely ready for the freezer so let's put it there and let's see what it looks like after 90 minutes so the workout's done and it was approximately 70 minutes in the freezer the moisture could be a little bit more tighter it's a little bit frozen on the sides but it's uh, ice cream is in the middle so once again Guys, try this out, this recipe, it's amazing, you'll love it and it will make the post-workout moment a lot more special. And of course, subscribe to the channel so you won't miss the next episode where we will be making some awesome protein pancakes. So please guys, subscribe to the channel so you won't miss the next episode and I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Like I said about the sound, man. Oh. Nice. Unbelievable that I'm eating this during the diet every single day.